Welcome back to Loadout Lounge. My name is Seth Nichols, and today we're looking at my mountain bike loadout. Now, the audio on this was corrupted, and so I'm having to redo the audio and speak over as we go throughout the video. So way, the way I store my bike is just like you see here. Uh, I've got this little collapsible mount. I'll put the link in the description below, but it will hold my bike up, and it's able to keep it out of the way. We keep it right, right near the front door. I actually built this uh, stand for my bike that is in the bed of my avalanche. It holds my bike. I don't have to have any type of cables or anything. Uh, I built it out of two by fours, just spare two by fours that we had. And it actually is short enough that I can put the bed covers of my avalanche over it. So it's it could stay in the bed of my truck at all times. Now some of this stuff y'all may not be interested in, but for me, whenever I'm mountain biking, I don't want a huge backpack. And so this hip belt or hip bag, if you want to call it that, is, is great. And one of the pro tips that I learned from a friend was if you're wearing a hoodie or anything with a pocket in the front, put the straps inside of that. So if it's a cold day or something, you can put your hands in the pocket still. There's just a little pro tip throw out there. And with that pouch, it has a bunch of different pockets we'll look at it here in just a minute but it's it's a great lightweight mountain bike mountain biking pouch now i have a hardtail mountain bike so what that means is the back does not have suspension the front does and it's it's an older bike but it works great and i've used it a lot With all the things I'm showing, the, the links are going to be in the description below. But this is a air pump. I purposely made sure my tires were, I don't want to say empty, but low. Just so I could show y'all how this pumps up and how effective it is. For a, if you have a flat out in the middle of a trail or something, this is a great tool to have on your bike and it actually it mounts to the frame super easily and it doesn't take up much room and it's not heavy at all plus it has the pressure gauge right there that shows you what exactly your tire pressure is at the moment so you do get a pretty good arm pump with this though so be prepared to your arms to to be on fire a little bit from pumping up the the tires and it collapses down and is very compact and it, it just it's a great air pump a great small compact air pump and a lot of the the stuff i have on here i, I wanted something lightweight super small but super effective and so that was just a great air pump and i've got these ergon uh handles that they're very grippy if you're not wearing gloves but they have a lot of cushion to them then of course the quad lock mount and then a headlamp and the headlamp is is one that i've had for years and it it just it works there is a, a battery that you have to charge and it velcros onto the frame and has a little cable that runs up and plugs into the headlamp so you can actually detach it there um and take the battery itself in and charge it and leave the headlamp attached to the bike. I've got a, a bottle holder, but I'll be honest, that's just whenever it's summertime and super hot, I'll put a bottle on there. And then I've got the, the Chester pedals. The pedals actually are very aggressive. So make sure whatever shoes you wear, you're not worried about tearing up the bottoms because that those bolts or screws that go through the uh the bottom of the pedals they'll tear your shoes up and then i've got a little topic pouch that rides underneath the seat it actually velcros underneath the seat to keep it there there's an extra uh tube for inside of a tire if you have a flat some patch stuff and then a little tool kit that is like the dlx kit that i have in my vanquest pouch if you've seen that video this is going to be just like it this is just the ntx plus version so it's got a little bit better tools a little bit more tools and then the bag is the osprey serial 7 and it 
if if you're looking into a hip pouch or hip bag not a fanny pack or anything like that but something for a mountain bike or even hiking uh this is going to be the bag you want i have a little pair of nipex pliers propel a cat tourniquet i definitely recommend having some type of tourniquet for when you're on the trail then it has a bladder to have your water plus some other stuff i, I try to keep my pack lightweight when i'm on the trail the only thing i would add is probably some some snack bars maybe cliff bar protein bar that's where i put my keys it's got mesh so if you get water in it or something it's going to drain out and dry it's very breathable this is another pocket just like the other side like i said i try to keep everything fairly lightweight and one thing i like about the the, the mouth spout is it's got a magnet that can hook to the bag just like you saw there one thing I've learned from riding bikes is I always have to wear a helmet. I've had some pretty gnarly wrecks when I was younger, concussions and all that good stuff, and I wasn't wearing a helmet. So I learned my lesson the hard way. And then I'm wearing a pair of mechanics gloves. I just, I'll be honest with you, the gloves that I normally wear are a different brand, but I, I couldn't find them, and so I wanted to wear the, the mechanics ones and they work just fine they have a lot of padding and they're they're great for for mountain biking too and my son decided he wanted to get his balance bike out and go with me so it's so a fun little family trip and also able to show y'all the mountain bike now with this hardtail the front suspension you could turn it off or on and when you turn it off it's great for riding on the road different stuff like that if you're especially pedaling uphill and then you have you can turn the suspension on when you're going off trail on trails and and off road stuff. I didn't want to ride a whole lot on this day because I had a soccer game later and I didn't want my legs to be shot, but I definitely wanted to show y'all some of the in use video. I've not really had any problems with anything falling off or rattling or anything like that. So just overall a really good kit, especially for mountain biking. And if you're interested in mountain biking, this is a good place to start. If you like this video, let me know, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.